This is about Ark, which is Vin Diesel's new game, Ark 2. <laughs> <laughs> it's still, it's still yep. so fucking weird that he's in this game. Anyway, so I can't focus on this because I'll get so sidetracked. Um, yeah, Ark 2 has been delayed. Uh, and they've also said there's no gameplay coming this year at all. Just like, forget about Ark 2. It's, you know, it's gone for the time being. What they've said instead is they are remaking the original Ark game, which was... Why? What was its full name? It was Ark Survival something. Survival Evolved, Evolved. right? It says on the screen. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, so it's Ark Survival Evolved, and it's getting a, so it's getting a remake and a new name. Um, the big controversy about this new story is they're shutting down servers for the original Ark game. Which is kind of shitty. Yeah. Um, you can still play online. They're saying how you're going to be able to back up your servers and stuff, and you'll be able to run you know, private servers and stuff like that. But the, the actual dedicated online servers they're running are just going. Which is kind of shitty, Considering they're also, you know, they're remastering it and then charging like fifty quid for this remaster and being like, yeah, if you want to yeah. play online, you buy that. <laughs> See, that, that's weird. I, like, I don't know if it is. I, I have a very weird um, viewpoint on this. Yeah. In the sense that Ark has been out for fucking ages now. Yeah. And it's like games don't normally have that lifespan. It's uh, it, it's 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 okay. It's it's it feels kind of odd. Whereas I feel like any other company wouldn't. This wouldn't be normal practice, right? It seems like a good way to just rile people up. But yeah, I I'm confused. Okay, so so they're shutting down the original game servers, and is Arc? I feel like we've got to call it Arc One, Arc Remastered, and Two. Yes. So is Arc Remastered not being like a free upgrade for those who already own Arc? No, you have to buy it. It's no. a whole. It's a whole brand new game. Okay, and, and all... you have to buy the DLC too separately. And so the Arc servers are going down for Arc One and Arc Remastered, or Arc, no, Arc... So Arc One. Yeah, Arc One okay. servers are going down. Um, if you want to play on official dedicated servers, you have to buy the remaster. They are taking away Arc 1 and saying, if you want to keep playing the Arc that you have, you have to give us money to play Arc Remastered. I'm, I'm so confused, because why would you not just keep Arc 1 up and be like, here's a free upgrade to Arc Remastered, and then shut down the servers when Arc 2 comes out? Like, that, that why give happening. a free upgrade, though, to a game that's been out, like, 10 years? Skyrim got that, didn't it? I believe. If you had Skyrim Original, you got Skyrim HD for free. I don't think that. anyone cares about there being a remaster. It's shutting down it's the, yeah, the yeah, original and forcing you to buy the new one if you want to keep just if you just want to keep playing the arc that you've always been playing. Yeah, that that's that's what I'm saying. It's it's weird. Why would they do it that way when there's like multiple other well, ways? It's also it? because I haven't said it yet, but it's like there's also Jeez. like a, it's it's like a bundle where if you buy Arc Two, you also get um... this new remaster or vice versa you buy the remaster you get arc 2 whenever that comes out and i think that's, that's the one that costs right. like 50 quid there's it's not been handled very well i think that's the biggest issue with this whole thing is it's kind of been worded and handled a kind of kind of bit weird because the story that goes out to people which is what people hear is just yeah arcs being remastered and if you don't buy it you can't play online even if you got the original and even if that's not like entirely true that's that's what people hear. That's what that's that's what becomes headlines because that's what gets in rage bait on all these articles. Do you know what this is? This is Overwatch Two again. <laughs> it's confusing. It's just like... confusing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's. I feel like they should have delayed Arc Two because obviously Arc Two is going to get delayed anyway. If they haven't, if they haven't got time to make it, they've got time to make it. It's got to get delayed. Delay Arc mm. Two and then do this whole weird remaster thing as a separate announcement, like a few months down the line or something. It just feels like it all just gets balled together and it's all a bit confusing. Because even as we talk about it now, I've read articles and I've done research on this and it's still like, Arc 1, but the remaster comes with 2, but then the servers are going down for the original, but you can still play the original, you just can't play on dedicated servers, you have to play on private 
servers unless you port your save to the remaster then you can use it's all yeah it's all weird. It's, it's all a bit weird um i don't know these these guys always just seem like scum kind of scumbag developers i don't know <laughs> like they, it's always these guys like they released dlc for their early access game right that yep. was like kind of a dick move they released that other game that turned out to just be a like bit of DLC that they just made into a whole new game and charged people full price for it, right? What was that? The pirate one? Oh, yeah. You guys probably okay. know. Don't forget and people. They just you, you could just Atlas. open the arc menu because they just never turned that off. I remember I that. Yeah. Yeah. At- yeah. Atlas was it called? Atlas. Yeah. Atlas. Yeah. You also had uh, just to add on to the shit pile of stuff that you're naming. Um, arc survival evolved on consoles, specifically the Switch were com- basically completely unplayable. Yeah, yeah. There's a really good digital foundry video you can watch about Arc 1 on the Switch and yeah, it's, it's both, hilarious. Yeah, it's both really technical but also hilarious because that game is so mm. awful looking on Switch. It's, it runs at like 240p. Or it's something. like two, like if you watch yeah. a YouTube video and put the <laughs> quality on the worst setting you can it still looks better than arc on yeah on uh switch it's like the game on all low graphic settings on 240p also running yeah. at like 15 <laughs> fps and they were charging yeah. like full price for it it's like oh my god have some like self-respect for your game <laughs> <laughs> yeah cr- ridiculous ridiculous um but yeah, I'll go around in circles with this a little bit, but yeah, it's kind of weird news. Arc 2, I'm, sh- I'm sure will be decent when it comes out. I still want to see how they tie Vin Diesel into an open world crafting survival game. Seems a bit odd is still. He, but... Is he in the game or is he just in the movie? I've, no, no I've one, I, don't, of... I, don't, I don't think there's enough information out at this point. <laughs> I don't just... think they know, yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> just like, here's the, here's the first and only trailer for Arc 2. We've got Vin Diesel in it. We don't know how we're going to utilize him yet. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for the game to come out and he's just like a legendary skin in the shop and he's in no way tied to anything <laughs> like story wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like a pre order bonus, pre order arc two, and you can play as Vin Diesel. <laughs> 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 uh, 